The kitchen floor in our 100-year-old home was apparently treated the same way the bathroom floor was originally, uh, terribly. And that, in combination with now four dogs, has uh, led us to the problem of a terrible floor. I'm going to use some Barathane polyurethane quick drying floor finish. I've purchased some uh, lambskin applicators for the poly. Also some tack cloth to get dirt and dust and hair up. I also got some stain applicator pads made out of terry cloth. This time around we're going to be using a rental machine for this much larger job. Come on puppies. Come on baby girl. And there is one of the problems. You may be thinking about the variety of reward that such a grateful spouse will bestow upon you when she sees the amazing job you've done on the floor. Let me caution you, however, that if she comes home to see dust all over her new stove and dishes and coffee maker, etc., you might be overthinking the rewards. For about two dollars you can purchase these 9 by 12 plastic sheets. So now that we've got the plastic sheeting up covering and protecting most of the kitchen, the floor has been cleaned and roughly swept, it's time to go off and rent the orbital floor sander. Of the two types of sanders available, there's a large drum sander and then there's this orbital sander which takes pads on the bottom. I got some 36 grit which I'm thinking is going to be too rough but I'm going to try it first. And then I've got 80 grit. So here's my 36 on the bottom of this machine. By the way, this floor sander has got to weigh 200 pounds. It's not too bad. I'm definitely glad I'm using the 36. It's not bad, but I've been going about 10-15 minutes, so I think I'll change that uh, number 36 grit to a new uh, number 36. Well, it's really coming along, and a couple things I think I forgot to point out is, of course, you always go in the direction of the grain when you can. Okay, granted that uh, honey badger of a giant floor machine did a wonderful job, but We've got to get these little inside corners. And the other system is just a small mouse type sander to get in as close to the edges as I can with this little tip. We started around 10 and it's 2 now and we're just about to uh, start staining. I went to great lengths to get all the dust off of here and before I get the dust off again I'm going to be taking down all of the anti-wife complaint plastic because any dust that's on there will fall on the floor. We'll start with the shop vac with the exhaust pointing outside.
We're going to go over the floor one more time with some good quality tack cloth. For a stain, we're going to use a Cabot penetrating wood stain. This is special walnut color. We're going to use these special pads that I bought, uh, terry cloth, to wipe the stain on. Avoid the white woodwork. Just gives it a taint of brown. It's just what I want. Don't let any dry spots. You don't want to let it. You don't want to let it sit and puddle. Okay, we've got a nice, rich, darker color on there. Let this dry nice, and tomorrow, after it's fully dry, we'll work on uh, polyurethane. I'm pretty happy with this. So here's where we are this morning. I let the floor dry overnight. It's dried very nicely. And we're ready to do the applications of polyurethane. To apply the product, we're going to use a lamb's wool, a lamb's skin applicator on a pole. I've used this before, it's clearly the best way to go. In order to get the toe kicks in underneath the refrigerator, etc., they recommend using a fine natural bristle brush. One note about the uh, Verathane is you never ever shake it. You just give it a gentle stir. Have it shaken at the store maybe, but once you get it here, you never shake it because you don't want any bubbles forming in it. Okay, now that we've got the Verathane stirred gently to a nice even color consistency, I want to do one final thing before I start going underneath all these tow rails. I'm going to embed this right into my floor, right at the doorway, to bring in luck to anyone who comes in. Place a nice coat of the varathane all along the edges or I'm not going to be able to reach it with the mop. I'm putting it on heavy but I'm spreading it thin. All in the direction of the grain. So okay, this is the first coat. It says it takes four hours to dry. It's about 75 degrees outside with no humidity, so it's perfect for a drying. This floor is dry. It's dry and it's ready for another coat. I have removed the old pad and put the new one on. That's a nice shine. Nice color, nice shine. I like it. That only took about 15 minutes to put that second coat on. Nice and shiny. That's what we want. Okay, and this is what we call the Tada moment. the finished floor. Let's see if I can give you an after and a before. This would be the after.